welcome to another episode of the Ozu on Prince World TV. Today we are at John Tires at number 164 Abat Macaulay Way at Dekule, Lagos. Now here we they talk about the Ozu. You know when they say Ozu, you understand? Let's get started. Hi, Mr. John. Hi, good morning. Who is John? Uh, my name is uh, Vincent John. Okay. I'm the uh, MD and CEO of uh, John Tires Nigeria Limited. Okay. And uh, also uh, John Tomatoes Taraba. John Tomatoes Taraba. Before that, tell us more about John Tires. Uh, John Tires is the uh, the tire company. Okay. Giving birth to in uh, 2015. 2015. 2015. Okay. Which, uh, although that 2015, we are under affiliate under Agina Nigeria Limited. Okay. That was a company I was uh, working for as a sales personnel. Okay. Uh, when um, because uh, before you start a company, you have to go to a kind of a training process. And to me, that period, I worked as a sales representative for the company. Okay. In which, after some uh, yes, and uh, so after some time, the days, just like you said, after some years, okay. due to some uh, things that happened in the company, due to the ring, when the CEO noticed that uh, I'm good to handle the company okay. on his behalf, so he handed the. Uh, Company procedures of my in my own care, which okay. I handled till he was late. He died in 2018. Wow! And uh, after that period, I decided to I still continue to maintain his legacy. Okay. Until uh, his uh, children decided to relocate abroad. Okay. Uh, so you now have the old company in your hands now. I uh, have the. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying I have the old company in my hands now because uh, the, com the family is no longer in the business. That is a fact. They are all. They are all relocated. Okay. Uh, but uh, due to the help which I've rendered to the family in the uh, in the past years, they are one of because I get most of my tires direct. Okay. Even though I'm just coming up. Do you get your tire direct from tire company? From not from the manufacturers because one of the son of the person I've worked for stays in Thailand. Okay. So I do get the bring in those tires direct from for the man. But not uh, we pay for this, I pay for the this thing. Just just because I've been of help to the family. Okay. So he is making it easier for me in terms of imports. Okay. So whereby you know this is buying and selling. You okay. Pay money. Once they receive the money, they bring your goods. Okay. And that is that. Uh, that is that. Oh, let me ask this question. Did you just wake up and say, okay, well, let me go and learn about tire so that it can become no, I, a tire I, seller? No, prior to that uh, time, I work. I worked as a fashion uh, manager for uh, what is it called? Uh, Alakija. For Alakija. Yes, Alakija Fashion uh, House. Okay. Uh, that is all this tailoring, this thing. I don't know how to stand the machine. My own, what I just do there is just like uh, maintenance. What inspired you to go into tire business? Uh, I would say the the inspiration did not just come. I don't know. I will not. I will just say it's because um, I'm from the east. Okay. I'm Igbo by tribe. Born states and in Nigeria, we are being uh, considered as an opportunist in terms of business. business yes. In terms of business, and we always uh, our eyes always open any place that we we 
can make profit. Okay. The, I was a sales rep. From that sales rep, I discovered that there is money in this uh, field. Okay. In this field, just that the only problem uh, they need is just the uh, funds. Because it's not a tire business, it's not something you use. You use hundred thousand to start. Wow. If you use on if you are with hundred thousand, that means you have not even started. Maybe you just want to you are just planning, you are still planning. Okay, maybe I should jump into that. With how much can you start with? If you want to start a entire business, the first of all is the location. Okay. Your location that means the uh, money and the finance which you invest in the business. Uh, when you want to start a entire business, one thing to consider is the express. You have to be in an express. Okay. And again, yeah, and the express means you have to be in the public eye, where by motor will be passing, will where motor, where motor will be okay. seeing you. And uh, let's just say, in terms of the much you start from, it's something like 2.5, it's just like it started. 2.5? Million, yeah, yeah, like 2.5 or 2 million. 2.5 or 2 million. Yes. So, if you have 500,000 and you want to start, uh, the entire uh, business, you, you, you will start the entire business. There are, there are two categories of tire business there are the uh, uh, new one and the grade ones. You can see if you can start with the okay, new one that is the token board, which everybody know. Okay, so you can start with them, maybe as time goes on. Then you, you upgrade to, to the uh, okay. Although you can also start, I'm not encouraging that. That does not mean you can start a entire business. Um, due to the recent uh, trend in terms of uh, technology and in terms of this thing, you can be at the comfort of your home, and start uh, something, be working at home in terms of marketing and strategizing in terms of uh, adverts. So, with what we are saying, how much does the entire cost? Entire varies depending on the size. Okay. Uh, tire price depending on the size. They are, uh, let's say, the list of tire in the market now mm -hmm. is from fifteen thousand and up. The new one. The new one. The list fifteen thousand and up, and that one is for that uh, short one. Like this one uh, is two one five seventy sixteen. Okay. This one goes for thirty six thousand naira. Okay. For one. For one. Okay. And there's one nine five sixty five fifteen. Those are the smaller one. That one goes for twenty thousand naira. Okay. There's also one seven five seventy fourteen. Those one goes for fifteen thousand. That was one. That is one that I say that uh, depends. The, the, depends on the size of the tire. Like this one is uh, two seven five fifty twenty one. This one is one hundred and two thousand. Oh. Tire. Tire. We have another oh, one. Wow. Uh, that one is not here. Two eight five. Uh, 55 uh, 21. That one is uh, 215 per tire. Hmm. And we also, it's not only in tire, we also, we, we also move to top tires. Okay. If there are some top tires like 315, 82.5, Bridgestone, that one goes for 315,000 per one. Per one? Yes. Hmm. But the price and the brand which the customer will buy mm -hmm. depend on the budget and the um, money that the customer has. Wow. And depend on the quality and the kind of places which the customer move, uh, moves with his cars. Wow. So that will not determine the one that the customer will buy. Like Just like that man, I asked him, depend on where he's going to. If he's the one that's just going from house to so, work, wow. if that will not, I will not advise him on the one he will go for. Okay. But if he's the one that's going from here to go straight every day, I will not say, okay, that one cannot last you for four years. Because tire expected duration okay. is four years. Okay. If you buy tire now, Yes, whether so if the tire is a very good brand, you are supposed to change it between three to four years. If it is a good brand, if it's a good brand, it's expected to last for you for three to four for years. Three to four years. Three to four but years. we have some people that will still be managing it for so five. So like if you after that five, after that four years, uh, the uh, uh, government under federal road safety has right to arrest or confiscate the owner. How would they get to know that? Every tire has a manufacturing date written on it. Then you add the manufacturing date four years to that. That will give you the expiring date. Without four years, like each of the tire year now is 2021. Okay. Every tire you see here is 2021. We are in 2022, but there is no tire that is manufactured in this year yet. 
it's four years time before it comes starts coming into the country depending on the country where the tire is coming from the channel which i'll use to sell it that is how most people don't to enter it and that is why most dealers also do reboy tires, refurbish tires, and that is why most people are also afraid to buy some tires at times. Because sometimes they do refurbish. Uh, then you 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 buy you to say fuel boss. Okay. They used to put brain like changing of the date of the tires just okay. because they want to sell it. You are supposed to sell it by June, everything. If uh, you are unable to sell it before then. Will all the tire expire? No, it won't expire, but uh, no customer will want to buy our whole product. Okay. Everybody will want to buy the current one. By that time, the tires of 2022 would have come out. Okay. So, what they will ask you, they will kill the date tire, and like, that is what most people will ask, what is the date of the tire? Uh, if I say 2021, I might sell it, but the price which I might say might have been but I have to be as a good business person, I have to be honest by telling the person this is 2021. And it's because this is you are good. How do you manage these losses? This uh, the losses, uh, like before you got, got to the business up uh, where well, like I grew up by myself with my uncle and I'll just say my, my uncle. So that life tough life and how to be life. life is already there. So loss is not a uh, a new language to me, so okay. you take it, then it, it come, you take it and we'll move on. Okay. How are you able to manage your profit? My profit, um, truly God has been faithful. There's a okay. lot of profit in the entire business. Uh, but uh, the management of the profit is being challenged into other uh, Places like uh, I use it to invest more in the business, and I use it to also for my I have a younger ones. Okay. And I also use it for to invest in any thing which I know will yield profit. Okay. Or which I see if I see a talent like if I see a river that there is a lot of fishes, I my love I like to catch to some fish your net. to throw my net and, and catch, catch fish. fish. That is better. So this tire business, can you rely on it? It's a good business to rely on because uh, it's, a, it's a business that is unlimited. Unlimited. It's so, unlimited because there is no, to the end of the world, cars will be on the road. So with this business, you can live a luxury life? You can live a luxury life uh, if there is a lot of investment. With it? With it, lots of investments, lots of advice, lots of uh, exposure to people, and lots of telling and marketing to letting people. But there is, there is no type of life that you want to enjoy that you can't enjoy the entire business. If, uh, if you, because if you, first of all, you have to be honest, you have to be, you have to, what you say is what to be of genuine and of quality. That alone will speak for you. Now, if you want to tell people outside to start up this business, okay. now what is the minimum amount to start with? If they want to start selling, if they want to venture into this business. Yeah, they want to venture into this business and they and need just like I said, I say, uh, say it's the location that, that means the, there's no amount, for, normally I would say millions, but there's no amount you can start to venture into any business, even if it's one tire. One tire can convert to two tires tomorrow. But okay. uh, for you to start uh, well, it's like, let me just say 2.5. Not well, not that you are starting well, you just, just, just to... want to start like 2.5 or something like that. Because let's say uh, this place, I just moved to this uh, location. Okay. Um, only this, getting of this place alone, minus anything in it. Cost let me just say uh, eight hundred k. Eight hundred thousand. Yes. Is it because it's because in the express? express. Cost eight hundred because uh, you have to pay. There's yeah, there's something of court agents and agreement. Yes, there's something yes, of court. Yes. Uh, you have to pay this. You have to pay that. And when you now paint the place, because you have to create a, an advert which is not like the main adverts, like the. Uh, what is it called? 
the wall, the decoration, like this design, this thing is just a, any place you see this painting is a, is a sign that this is the way they say that I am, even if I'm close, it's still outside. It's still outside. Okay. A sign that this is where they say So tires. all of that, all of that has to be in your reason. budget. So even the, let me say, the renting and the furnishing of the place costs more than a million. How does Nigeria economy affect your business? Nigeria affects a lot because it's not encouraging. Wow. Because um, last year I had a lot of losses in entire business. Okay. I did, and not entire business, in this entire business, I have a lot of losses in, that's in terms of this entire business because uh, I once, uh, last year I got some tires, uh, which I was supposed to uh, deliver to a company. I bought that tires. Let me say, I bought, let me see an example. I will get a tire for like, for like uh, uh, twenty thousand naira. Okay. Let's say you want to buy a tire. You are, you are, you work for a company, mm -hmm. and you want to buy a tire, and I give you the price to give your company. There's something called performance mm -hmm. invoice. It's just like giving someone price. But when we say performance invoice, like you are giving an official price to a company, waiting for them to approve. Okay. So I'll get the the, com the company came to my office and got a performance invoice, which I gave them the tire for like let me say forty thousand naira for that month. But it took them uh, uh, three months before to approve before that, and, and I gave them for that price for twenty twenty. And when they came, but when they came back, that tire cost price alone. At that time, they came initially. The selling price is twenty thousand naira. Why the cost price is uh, eighteen thousand? Meaning, I'm gaining two thousand two thousand per tire. Yes. But when they came back after three months, the cost price now is now more than twenty four thousand five hundred. Wow. Meaning that even if I sell it to them, I'm having a big loss. So can't you just explain to them that ah, uh, with, within that time, oh, things has changed. The There's, price uh, has gone up. Something called the uh, good name is big, big better than silver. Goods. So you now it's not a, it's not a one company. It's not a one uh, when you deliver to company. It's not one person that you answer to. When you go, go there and you tell them the prices have changed, it's, it, the signatures to the accounts are different. Yes, yes. And the person that came to collect the invoice, the company might blame the person that he has gone to inflate the prices. Hmm. And that will now lead you to potential competitors competitors that might not take your market let, let us go and check in other markets mm -hmm. and which then checking other markets fine they might check that market and might find that your own is even good but it now bring you into consideration with another person when you want to deliver hmm. then you have no choice but to deliver that tire so you now sold it for them at that price at that 20, are losing uh, so that's our 20 pieces losing almost six thousand naira each tire for 20 pieces each? yes Wow, and that goes, that deal. goes, that goes on for. The, and what I'm trying to say is that some tires, the prices is going up daily due to the naira this thing, and due to the how things are going in the country, which you already know. Yes. And those are the things that is causing the price on everything. Everything. Price of everything has corrected as well. So now you are telling me that if I don't get mine, I don't get checked, I don't feel venture into this tire this year. You, you are right. If you don't have the mind, you can. You might. Um, you have to be uh, have their kind of strong hearts. Hmm. So when the to always come, to always prepare for the worst while praying for the best. Hmm. Do you have other business apart from this type of business? Yeah, I have a, I have a tomato business. I okay. have a granite okay. uh, business. Um, by God's grace, I'm planning to also uh, enter into a furniture business. Furniture business. Yes. Now, all this business you are mentioning now, do you have any idea of this business, or you just think you have the money you want uh, to? Enter? I don't have the money. I'm still, I'm still a young boy. I'm still going, but when I discover, just like I say, when I discover there is a lot of fish in a certain area of an river, I always like to throw my nets there. Uh, just like uh, I discover a talent that someone is good in a certain this thing, okay. and uh, the only thing holding him back is uh, maybe funds for that kind of something. 
and there is some certain cash that will come to my hand at that moment that I don't, not that I don't need it, but I don't actually need it at that same moment. I can invest it on that talent, which will be beneficial to both of us. There's so much time business now. How many countries or do you only deal with customers in Nigeria or outside? I have, uh, I deal with a lot of customers in different countries because uh, I don't always, that is what we call strategy and uh, this thing. There are many prior business people that do entire business that only open shop and wait for customers to come and buy. I don't do like that. I have many channels which I take to uh, expand my business without me waiting for customers to come to the shop. Okay. I have a Google business account. Okay. In which, through that, just like last week, I sold tire to someone in New York. Mm -hmm. New York. The brother is in uh, Thomas Estate at uh, Lekki. But he's checked on Google. Like if you type your with your phone, tire, yeah, but not necessarily mention my company. We mentioned type I tire, yeah, but tire it. mainland. Okay. You see my order uh, to come up and okay. you see, you see verified. There are other companies you see, the, but you see my own is the only verified one that is there. That, and the rating is that when someone sees that it's verified, it's something this what something I can trust. So the person contacted me and I negotiated through the through that uh, Google. If you check through that Google, you see uh, my company name. Okay. You can even chat through me to, to me through Google. You okay. see it chat. You can call me through that also. And okay. through that, I communicated with a lot of customers and which have made some lot of sales. Wow, that is a better yeah. idea. This, do we have any um, company manufacturing tire in Nigeria? And that is what I uh, said. As uh, they say, that is the company. The government is not encouraging. We formerly have uh, Dunlop tires at uh, Obayekra and Nkeja. Okay. But because of there is no electricity and um, the tax is too much and then they left the country. There is no tire manufacturer in the country. Now there is no tire manufacturer. What do, even the surprising thing about tire is that the tire you see around the world 20 years ago, mm -hmm. the whole world, you see, let's see, around the world, 80% of those tires, the rubber, the rubber is made in Nigeria. The rubber they used to produce them. It is made from Enugu rubber. And the most painful part of it is that people of the outside countries, okay. they will come to Nigeria, come to Enugu rubber, buy the rubber, and go and manufacture, and, and manufacture, it, and manufacture it in their country and sell, sell it back, it back to, to us, just like what you see in petroleum. So we have the food. We have the food. We are giving it to them, them to, to, to sell it back and, to and us. And they will be the ones to determine the price, uh, sell it back to us at a higher price. <laughs> this problem that is on ground, that we have the materials, but to, pro to produce it, to manufacture the tire, is what we don't do. Mm. How can the government help us with this? I did bring these uh, sources and economies, uh, uh, things which the which God Almighty have given to this country is being utilized for the right purpose. This country would have been the top five richest country in the world. Wow. Just like petroleum, mm -hmm. just like salt. Mm -hmm. My state, Ebony State, uh, in terms of salt, okay. but it's not being used for the right purpose. Hmm. We, in terms of uh, rubber, in terms of uh, other things, which I'm just, the government have the funds to open a tire plant in the mm. country to produce an indigenous tire, mm. which will serve the country, which will create revenue, which will create job, mm. which will help in to reduce dollar this thing also, because of when you use what you have in your country, the value comes in. If they don't even have this thing, they can bring in experts uh, to come and uh, bring to do those things, employ their uh, indigenous uh, citizens to work in those companies. In less than a matter of 15 years, your citizens should be able to run, the, run it on themselves without uh, depending on those uh, foreigners. What have you achieved categorically? I've achieved a lot because it's... Uh, with uh, this, I have trained my younger one to school. Okay. Four of them. Okay. Four of them. And therefore, two is from my own mom. Two is just my family relations. Wow. Although me, I don't do things without your family, but I take all of them as my younger ones. Actually, I will not come and join them. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big so, brother. So, 
And with that also, I'll be able to go back to school also. Okay. If someone wants to start a tire business and does not have enough money, what advice will you give to that person? Uh, it's not a must you have a, enough money. There's something called the marketing. Okay. And in Igbo, we call it Osaya. Os Osaya. Teach me, I need to pronounce o Osaya. Osaya. Yeah, it's hustle, hustle, hustling. Okay. Hustling like, you know, an Igbo man, I might market something on WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, this thing that I sell, I sell to so I sell tires, whereby I don't have tires and I don't have a shop. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't have a shop. Okay. To that uh, marketing and a lot of uh, my, oh, that yeah, is my awareness for yeah. some people. You might have lots of people that might want to be patronizing, and you will still see somebody that want to buy. Although they, they will call you, have a doctor Thomas, like a lot of doctors that they would, that would like to see. To see what want, they want to they buy. They want to see. They want to come to your shop. No, they want to see. <laughs> You want to come to your shop to see the shop. Okay. If it's an able person, the able person will still sell the market. An able person might come to this shop now and bring a customer and, and mm. he will give me a sign. I will know that he, he came to hustle. Okay. And I will be asking like a boy, boy to him. Hmm. Hmm. I will ask like a boy. I will be saying, yes, sir, yes, sir. Go and get this, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Mm. He will sell the tire he wants to sell to the customer. And. Because he already knows he's, he's, he's already no have idea of the he has already had no have idea of the price. He even do I know that I'm selling this tire for thirty six thousand. If he sell it for hundred thousand, that is his business. Mm -hmm. Once he's done with the customer, he will just give him thirty six thousand naira and take his own balance. But that kind of thing, hope it will not implicate you. In terms of uh, implication, is uh, there is a kind of uh, before those people come to your shop for those kind of things, mm -hmm. they must have have that kind of agreement and they must kind of a uh, document in terms of future this mm -hmm. thing okay. and the receipt which they give is bending on that agreement which you have with it. Okay. Yes. So where do you see tire business in the next ten years? How do I see myself in tire business in ten years? Mm -hmm. I would say fine. I plan to have a lot of branches in different states. And I plan also having a uh, uh, lot of uh, channels which I can deliver tires because many tire car owners are lazy in terms of coming to the shop to mm -hmm. buy tires. Okay. So I plan on having many, many channels which will make it easier for them and to... to buy tires okay. and many ch channels which will make it easier to deliver your tires. And now also in maybe say ten years it's possible for me to also have a John Tyre, John Tyre, just like as you see Joy Road. Joy Road. I will just okay. see John Tyre. John like Tyre. I might start my battery my own tire in the country. I might just be the first to be doing that. Now what you're saying is you want to have a company that produces tire. Yes, that is the that is the dream. So it is is it possible? It's possible in ten years, depending on my depending on the finance. Okay. Depending on the my exposure, depending on the marketing design, depending on the if the economy the economic situation of the country is encouraging. Okay. We want to go personal now. We okay. want to go personal. Are you we 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 are you married? I'm not married, I'm um still a young boy. Still a young boy. I'm still a young boy. Yeah. And you know, I did not ask of your age. You're just okay. telling me you are still a I'm young still boy. I'm still a young boy. Although okay. there's nothing like a young boy in terms of the, 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 the if you should be married or not. Okay. I'm not married yet. I plan to marry soon. Soon. Soon, I have no date. Soon can be today. <laughs> soon can be tomorrow. Soon can be 10 years. No, soon is not 10 years. Uh, okay. Soon is not the next two years. Okay. So soon can be this year, uh, this okay. year, or okay, so, early next year. Okay. Uh, okay. That's my own soon. Uh, okay, that's my your own own definition, own definition of, of soon. soon. My own yes. definition of soon can be from 9 to 30 years. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, soon, sooner than expected, by God's grace. Okay. Mm. But is there anybody somewhere that, you know, um for now no for now no okay yeah. what advice can you give to you who are complaining about nigeria economy in terms of job i will advise them that to find this every the economic situation is not encouraging but i will advise them to look for something to do 
it's not necessarily what you do with the suiting or suiting to what you study or what you prefer, but just look for something. It does not matter. Some you say some graduate selling pure water or doing this thing. Mm. They're not doing it not because it's encouraging to them, but they are doing it just because they are believing for the better tomorrow. They are praying for the best. Why still uh, pray? Why praying for the best? Why still uh, preparing themselves? Mm. Because you see me selling tire, I've worked in a place, I've also also in a place called Okoba. I've Okoba, there's a place that's called Okoba, in the third land, they used to cut firewood, I've carried yes, firewood. Yes, I have. Okay, I went to school, secondary school then, I've carried firewood. I went out the water, that is where I learned how to swing. Hmm. There's got to a place, top power line, that's where I learned how to swing. We enter that water, we push that, this thing, come outside, have, like, as if you are big. Hmm. Push it out to the put it in the machine. When I when, when I've done that one, that is the daily one, the evening time I help some people they call uh, ego, those people from Benin to carry hmm. some fire, we put inside their boots, hmm. which they will pay me like 200 naira this thing to this thing. Not because I want that, but because I just want something I something doing. And at that step, sometimes I will just go to Balogo market to also clothes for my uh, senior brother then. Hmm. So if you don't wait for the government, don't wait for the government. If they do something fine, if they don't do anything, you get yourself something to you get yourself busy no matter how small it is. Thank you, Mr. John. Thank you, Mrs. Adetutu, for coming to my office. All right, we're happy to have you on Prince World TV. Okay. As we have asked from Mr. John that whatever we want to achieve, we should be focused. No business is too small to embark on. You can do whatever you like. You can embark on any business. You don't know which one will pay. Also, please, this is Prince Watt TV. I remain your humble host at day to two. Please, you can follow us on our social media handles that is showing on the screen. Thank you. So we meet again. <laughs>